you. Not welcome here. <laughs> So, the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. <sighs> Lies. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no, is this the same thing they did to corrupt Avalon's mind? Wolves never surrender. But this can't go on. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Ceremony was interrupted. How fortunate for you. How does an old spirit have such determined will? No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. It disappeared again! Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lupacol. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap. Wait, so you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled danger and came here? No, we heard about the danger. Hyman's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Ah, uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think. Only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Yes. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this 
pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know. But... Did we help? Yes, you were a big help! Thanks! We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell... more danger. Bigger danger. You too, also be careful. Well, that was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. Dane, there you are. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister, long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it! So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom! After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom, it would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before. So they came to interpret it as the Tyrant's Final Fury! It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm, what do you mean? Something like that. This is it, right? <sighs> okay, then. Use your elemental sight to look for the eye. Ooh, so what did you see? You did it right! This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. And done. The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. 
the eye of the first field tiller. All of the ruin guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osail, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Then, what should we do with this eye? No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Hmm. You won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! Oh, well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise, she'd be going completely bonkers right now. <laughs> Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald, it's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dainsmith, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed, perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! 
bow before the abyss. Freeze. The world. Dane. Uh-huh. Your brother knows Dane? <gasps> Ether. We meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows him too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Ether. <laughs> but it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the Abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh... And the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh... Paimon's so confused! Home... Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Lumine. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. <sighs> we have always had enough time. Over 
it again. First off, that Abyss Herald called your brother a prince. It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be he wants to destroy the Seven? And the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. And Dave is from Conria too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go.